In a little over five weeks, professional tennis will return to Atlanta. Certainly will. Well, last year, the truest Atlanta Open was canceled because of the pandemic. But some of the top stars in the sport, they are coming back to Midtown. CBS 46's Rob Hughes got a first-hand look. Atlanta loves its tennis and tennis is back in the metro. Construction on the stadium is officially underway here today, but the question remains just how many fans will be allowed to see this tournament in person. We're back. <laughs> tournament director Eddie Gonzalez, sponsors, and a couple notable former Georgia Bulldogs met in Midtown to build excitement for next month's truest Atlanta Open. As of today, we're at 50%. But that could change come tournament time. Regardless of the final attendance numbers, live sports, a welcome reprieve for Atlantans. People are just ready. I think we're all kind of ready to put the pandemic behind us and live events and tennis is at the forefront for us. He's got it. Among the notable players returning, Georgia alum and five-time Atlanta Open champ, John Isner. I've played matches in Shanghai and Beijing, and I've heard I've had people barking for me over there. So the Georgia Bulldog Nation truly is everywhere, and of course they're uh, this is the this is the heart of it all right here in Atlanta. And while Georgia tennis is a big deal, Isner knows his place among Bulldog greats. Former dog star and NFL Hall of Famer Champ Bailey helping build the hype for the tournament says the respect is mutual. These guys are phenomenal athletes, so much respect is deserved. But you know, this is part of my community, so any event like this with some fellow Bulldogs. I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity to come and support and, you know, be a part of it. The Atlanta Open kicks off with a showcase match of women's tennis between former U.S. Open champs Kim Kleisters and Sloane Stevens exactly 40 days from today. At Atlantic Station, Rob Hughes, CBS 46 News. And we are counting down.